My name is Kin, and welcome back to my continuing satisfactory series on Update 8 Experimental. This is episode lucky number 13, and if you'd like to catch up from the beginning, a link to episode 1 is in the description. In this episode, we're still continuing to prepare for oil production. Things get a little chaotic in the second half. Bring it on. I've got a special request for you all this episode. If you've enjoyed watching my content or enjoyed this episode, please take a moment to subscribe. I'm very close to an important milestone for subscribers, and I would really appreciate your help over the finish line. Thanks so much. Well, these important steps aren't going to forget themselves, so let's get started. We're back. Ready to rock and roll. Welcome to episode 13. Got a lot of stuff done. Let's go over what we did really quickly last uh, stream, last episode, and then we'll go over what the plan is for this one. So first thing we did was we upgraded our foundries down there on the end, the steel foundries, into using the solid steel ingot recipe. Yeah, and then the big task that we got done that took the majority of our time was setting up these 18 compacted coal assemblers. It was a bit of a, a bit of a monster. Getting up here, getting all those put in. Um, they look really nice, but they were uh, a little finicky, but we got it. And then we kind of set up the infrastructure for all of our turbo fuel. The last thing we did before we logged out was we finally got oil run to our two inputs. Here's our input for that side, and then our input for the left side. And then if we look on the map, so yeah, we'd already pulled these, and then the last part of the episode, we went out and pulled those. Uh, all those with a check mark. All of that oil is piped and ready to rock into our base, I believe. So we also experimented with some fancy, shiny foundations. And we're going to be doing more of that if I can find the time. The other little tiny task that we need to take care of sometime today is we need to build some batteries. I want to build a battery bank. So a couple little side projects. But the big project is these refineries. I really want to get these going. They've been sitting for too long. So, yeah, that's the plan for today. So, okay, what's first? I have to stop and think. There actually is one little tiny task that I think we need to handle now. It's a little little irritating, but let's just, I think, knock it out so that we don't have to run into the problem later. Our generation of encased industrial beams is really, really slow right now because we are siphoning them off to make our heavy modular frames so i don't even know if any of them are making it through i think that's actually the hold up here and it's using 100 percent of what we're making the plan was always to make more we just never really got to it because we didn't need it until now so i think before we move on to that i don't want to be building using tier four belts and run out of encased industrial beams because we played that game in the first few episodes running out of reinforced iron plates and I don't want to go back to that. So that's what we're going to do first. So we only need four. So let's make the other two. We've got two. Let's just make the other two. It's going to go onto this row right now. Here's one already built. Let's just, let's just knock it out. Okay. So four up. Let's go ahead and put in the outputs first. I just hit H to lock the hologram. New and update eight. Just making sure that we are good. And we are. Two, three, four. Oh. Let's switch over to my. And then this will never need a Mark IV. So I'll go ahead and I think just a Mark II is going to do it. Now, we, we will need to make sure that our inputs can handle that. So we may have to be, it, it may just not be two machines. 
one of the reasons I was kind of putting this off because we're probably going to end up starting a chain reaction of upgrades that need to happen back through our production line. All right, let's take a look. There's our pipes and there's our concrete. So concrete, we look good. Concrete looks nice and heavy. It looks like we got plenty uh, concrete. Our pipes, I think we're going to have to increase our pipes because uh, we did just increase our steel. So we should have plenty of steel to make extra pipes. So I'm not worried about the steel. It's gonna be hard to see. The right one. Yes. Nice. Iron plates again. No, we're so close. There's one left. All right. Okay, so those should be all set. Like I said, our concrete is looking solid. There's a steel pipe. I mean, a couple of them are making them are making through, but not nearly what we're gonna need. Look how complicated this is looking. Like this looks great. Like it looks like a circuit board. I love it. Love it. All right, that's set. We need to fix the pipes. Fix the pipes. I mean, if you're if you're super new to this game, like the way I'm doing this factory is maybe not. I don't know. I, I would <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily recommend this. What I'm doing. I don't know. Follow, follow me at your own risk. It. It has its advantages, but it has some disadvantages as well. So, all right. I think these are ready to rock. Look at our nice line of pipes. I love it. And now these guys, when those pipes make it all the way back around, they should fill up our encased industrial beams faster. And then this guy should get fully loaded. Uh, yeah. And then once he's fully loaded, then we'll be shipping some finally into our overflow. I mean, not our overflow, our storage. Okay, first little side project of the day finished. Oh my gosh, I I just love how this looks. And we haven't even messed with the color at all. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, all right. What's next? What is next? Next is, oh, we need to do power. I think we need to do power for all 40 of these and just get it done. So hopefully we'll get fuel generators up this this stream. I think we will. I'm going to go for six hours tonight. So in theory, all of this should be up and running unless we run into, you know, bite my tongue, major problems. What is stopping us from turning these on? I think dealing with the resin. Yes, we have to deal with the resin. So that's next. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a power switch. This is just temporary because we're going to use the new priority power switches. Okay. Getting this resin hooked up. And we'll do the same for the other side. Make sure I'm not making any mistakes. Nope, that looks good. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Stop. Damn it. These are all wrong. I'm sending them in the wrong direction. Remember, we talked about the rubber. So the rubber and the plastic are on the top floor and they're on the end. So that means that we have to point them all this way. Yes. Okay. That's okay. No, what's the problem? Please don't tell me there's a problem. What is the problem? Oh my God. I'm such an idiot. Oh. Uh. Okay. Thank you. Control replace. Th 
Thank you, thank you, Coffee Stain, for putting that in. That that's amazing. All right, these are coming out twenty per minute. Yeah, I built I built them all as um as splitters, and they needed to be mergers. And I have if if you guys are thinking about doing update eight, oop, I have had some crashes, so. Just, just know what you're getting into. Have a decently timed auto save, and be ready. I mean, we had some, we had a, a pretty bad one last stream. It all worked out, but um, okay. So that's resin. Twenty times so that's four hundred, right? Twenty times twenty. Twenty per, and yeah, and then I think we're gonna send that up. This is our resin hole what's the best way to do this maybe just move the resin hole sorry i know i'm getting like finicky with these Okay, I can handle that. So we are going to need outputs for plastic, but let's not worry about that yet. No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and worry about it because what I'd like to do is get this turned on. I think all these are going to have to be replaced. So that we have room for our plastic. There's a new, another new trick. So this is new update eight. So I'm selected like I'm going to delete this half one meter foundation. If I hit G, now it says in the middle of the screen, dismantle filter half one meter foundation. Now when I hold control, it just selects that. So if I wave it on the refineries or whatever, it doesn't it doesn't actually highlight that for deletion. And so now all those are deleted. Instead of having to click on them one by one or worry about, you know, running in uh, accidentally deleting a refinery. I think we need to build the second ma big major floor to our factory. Like not just like that, like that little f second floor. I mean a real second floor. The problem is, is that I am a little unsure about how much space to leave us up here. I mean, because what else are we sending in here? Well, we better make ourselves plenty. At least six. Let's go ahead and make eight. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and do eight more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. We'll make ten. Okay, so if we're gonna do that, that's gonna be our final height. I can deal with that. Do we call that good? <laughs> no, let's not do it there. Let's do it here. We may not be ready to make this decision yet, but I'm I'm ready. I'm mentally ready. We're gonna slam these in, and I tell you why that we need to do this is because we need a place to put our fuel generators and I need to know where the fuel generators go before I figure out where to put the turbo fuel and the fuel outputs for the refineries that we're building and our fuel generators are going to go out there so we're going to run we're going to run it up this way all of our fuel okay all right now that we have a plan I'll probably run the fuel out here. So let's maybe here and then one, two, one, two there. And then he lines up there. Okay. I can, I can deal that. That works. Did I do a dark gold? I did. We're doing dark gold much better, much better. Okay. So there's our fuel coming, our, our turbo fuel and our fuel. So let's build, uh, we're going to delete these because I'm going to make this like 
refloating, I think. 450. So one pipe is all we need. Good. Because if I had to run two pipes, I would have been a little sad. How much space do we need? Probably right there. Hmm. Actually, let's put in this guy. Yes. Now, please work. Are you are you even? I honestly can't tell. But I guess if I can't tell, yeah, I think it's even. <laughs> I guess if I can't tell that there's a problem, then I guess there's no problem. Uh, mark one. Yeah. That, that is how that is going to look. That red is a little bright, <laughs> but but it's on a swatch, so we can change the swatch and it'll update to all to everything we've assigned to that swatch. Is that not usually that works really well? I just double click. OK. I have to be looking at the refinery. OK, great. So that's our turbo fuel. He has a home. Let's make a home for our plastic that is coming out of here. Problem. Why are you not? You should go in. Huh. What the heck? I don't want him to be farther out. That should click, but it's not. It built, but where did it build? Yeah, it built something weird. I knew it did that. Crap. I guess. Okay. All right. All right. I will. I will. I don't know what's wrong with me. When life gives you lemonade. It's not how the saying goes. Okay, floor holes. We got to do floor holes then because I don't... Floor holes will look better anyway. Let's line up the floor hole with the pipe. Okay, we need five for rubber for sure. Fifteen for turbo fuel. And... Okay. Did we build 20? No. Okay, that's 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 the issue. We built 19 for some reason. So the turbo fuel is fine. We don't have to touch that. What is messed up is is this. See how it went up? Let's do it again. Okay. Once it knows, it has to link into the refinery in front of it. It goes up. Just that slight little bit is what was keeping the belt from connecting to. Yep. I don't know why that's happening. But it is happening. So we're using the the that to, to deal with it. So I don't want us to mess up our now we got to mess up our smokestacks. So we're not going to do that. We're going to bring them back. Something like this. And then we'll just build some mergers. I mean, that's cool looking, but it's silly that I had to do that. If I build it correctly. All right, that'll look cool. Oh, God. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> we have no underfloor down the hair that uh, down here this far. This is it's crazy. It's crazy far. Um. Okay. All right. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna run the plastic along the ceiling so that we don't have to build like a crazy underfloor just for like one product or a couple of products because we'll have the rubber. Where's he going? He is gonna go in a version of this, but we haven't made him yet. So we need smart splitters. So basically, just an inversion coming from the other direction. So Okay, this is much better. Much, much better. Yeah, they're the right height. Okay, that's that's where our rubber and our plastic's gonna go. Okay. Actually, let's let's just start here because we have to build the whole life cycle of the resin and yeah, the resin to rubber. So we might as well just start here. Seems like a lot of space, but we're gonna need space for the um, the resin, and not the resin, the um, heavy little residue that comes out of here. So, all right, and then this first one can be Mark One, and then we'll just knock this out. And then if, as soon as we get the oil, the, the rubber and the plastic fully set up, we'll also just do the fuel, this, this other 20, you know, we don't, we don't have any of these pipes in yet, so we, we're, we gotta do that too. Damn, that's a better idea. Then our, then our bottom floor is clean, is clean. And the funkiness is hidden more hidden up here. Okay. Please work. It did. Okay. All right, that's better. And then there is the issue where that floor hole is not in the same spot as it is on the other side, but that's less noticeable than the wiggle that we had down there. And the, that one merger being in a totally different place. Uh, now we're doing splitters, yes, and they need to be facing this direction. He's gonna be making good old fashioned fuel. There's residual rubber. Right? Palmer resin and water in. We still have to do the water. Oh, that's okay. There's these these refineries, man. So much work to get these online. Let's and I'm doing 80 at the same time. That's the real issue. But once these are done, we won't have to touch refineries until we start doing mega factories. This is this is all the refineries we need until Mega factory time. And our mega factories are gonna make this 80 refineries look like a walk in the park. And this is our this is our rubber line right here. We're building 80 refineries all at the same time. And we're regretting our life decisions. But it's not that bad really. I'm just joking. All right, we need a merger. Yep. Uh, okay, that's done. And those are getting fed. And that means those are getting fed. So next thing to do is these bad boys. And these are all going to be fuel. So see what we did over here. We pumped it up. See, I just avoided. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably delete that. But if I had to, I just wouldn't use a floor hole, right? That'd be my floor hole. Like I'd build what I need to build and then just do that. So that's that's what I try to do if possible. Okay, let's try to reproduce what we did before. 
We're going to run that down here and then one. This is where the fuel pipes are going to go. Invalid shape. Well, that noodle's bad. I mean, I guess. I guess someone's not bad. This all has to be orange. Sorry, the reason that I'm doing that is just so that I I know how much space I have to work with because we have to fill we have to fit in the purple stuff over this. See like this? But it needs to come in over the top. And So, actually need this middle space. This is why I'm doing this. That kind of looks better anyway. Remind myself this is for fuel. One, two, and then up one. Okay, that's where he goes. Uh, we're done with the... Hi, oh, with the oil. So let's change over our pipes to run purple. And then hit H. And then let's line it up. I think that is good that way. Actually, I think... Nope. Nope. What am I doing? What is going on here? Backwards now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, but I think it's right there. I think that's right. Okay. Now we know where we're piping it to. Okay, that's 600. That's why we stopped. This is this is a full pipe. That's a full pipe that is headed up to go to the turbos. These are going to be a pipe that is headed over to here because not here. That's rubber. The, f the sixth one is the first one. It takes heavy oil residue and changes it into fuel. Okay, so this residual fuel eats 60 per minute, so we can only do, we can do 10 and 10. But we don't even need that much, right? Because we only have 15, but we are going to overclock some of them. We actually need 17.3 of these, but we only have room for 15. So we're going to overclock some. Right, so like... There's 16. There's 17. Uh, but I actually don't want to do that. I, I want to do... It takes more power the more you overclock. So there's 16. There's... 17. And then point three. 1.3 we need nope come on buddy come on buddy that should do it yes that looks good okay all of this is gonna come down and we're just gonna yeah let's just do that we're gonna merge it up with this pipe Let's continue this. I'm hitting control 
it'll lock in place on that green line. Doesn't always work, but it works for these these pipes for some reason. Okay, let's kill that and that. And then where's our sign? Our sign's there. So let's kill that. And then we go upper to lower with a mark one. Because we're on horizontal to vertical. Alright, you guys are gonna like this. This is a good. Sometimes I come up with elegant solutions. Most most of the time not. It's there. Yep, now I just gotta connect those. Guaranteed that floor hole is jacked up. Like I just I just freaking know it. Here I think. Yep. I, I saw that little bit of you know a satisfactory players. We have our own C word. I saw a little bit of clipping. But we're probably gonna to be honest with you, we're probably gonna be having to change this a bunch of this anyway. When it doesn't freaking work. Okay, <laughs> so headed down there and headed up into there. Let's do six hundred for this guy. Let's do the first 15 for this pipe. We'll know this one's 600 and this one will be the the leftovers. Yeah, so so that'll work. So the first 15. And then I tried to make the weird ones on the back end, right? Because this front end, we know now that we're gonna put a full 600 pipe up there. And it's gonna need to be, and hopefully those are nice round numbers up there right i can't remember how many i think it eats 60. yeah if i remember right oh no that um fuel that heavy oil residue to fuel recipe has an input of 60 per minute heavy oil residue so that's 10 right and so the first 10 up there are gonna take off take from this pipe and then everything else, including the overclocked ones, is going to take off of this pipe. That's another thing that makes going to these Mark II's pipes and pumps worth it. Just bite the bullet and make it happen because using the Mark II pumps is just infinitely better. It's just like the Mark II pipes. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this while it's fresh in our minds. The first 10 are going to be bad from this heavy oil actually let's do this is why we built this after all these are fuels three four five six seven eight nine and so there's ten and we'll change the other color when we feed in these but at least we have those marked and then let's go ahead and change colors one two three four five now all those guys are set we're really close we're really close now we need to set up last thing is all the fluid outputs for the top row that aren't the rubber and the plastic so the 15 our nice bright red 15 turbo fuels oh no we did those those are done so all we have to do is the setup for the regular fuel we're down to 43 packaged fuel for the jet pack we gotta hurry before he spends it all we're really close we're so close okay, we're doing the first 10 because that's only 400 and okay, now what now we have 60 so now that's 460. 60 more. 460 and 4 and 60 is 520. And 60 more is 580. 
I call that good. We're going to do 580 out of that one. Okay. Perfect. Now we'll just... Actually, just, I think we're on horizontal to vertical. Should be fine. Why are you not... All right, whatever. Okay, and now we have to figure out how we're gonna do this. So we gotta stack this up again. Please. Yeah, that's that's nice. Okay, that has to be a mark two. That can be a mark one. Actually, it needs to be a mark one so I can tell the difference. I know which pipe is which. This is our three right here. We are finally done. This has everything we need right here. Let's do this. I want to get everything going before we start building our... I want to make sure everything works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run these up. Yeah, let's just do this. And then this is all temporary. This is where our fuel is gonna go. I think that's all set. Oh, we're so close. I think, are we ready? Whew, are we ready to turn it on? I mean, okay, I think, I think we're ready. And, you know, we'll have problems to fix, I'm sure. We'll have to debug. But, um, let's see how this goes. Uh, we're going to only turn on, actually, uh, power. We have to have some of those generators in, you guys. We can't, I don't think we can afford not to. I mean, let's look at our power situation. All right, we're only consuming, I guess we'll probably be okay. All right. I mean, why wait though? Like there's no reason to wait. All right, let's, let's try. Let's, let's, we need to, we need to get some, we can't turn it on yet. <laughs> we can't, we cannot. All right. This is what we're going to do. Let's go get everything that we can get for as many generators that we can afford. Okay, how many is this? Okay, uh, we're low on rubber, but that's okay. And quick wire, that's okay. Still good on motors. 20. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get 20. Okay. Okay, there's our motors. We're good there. All right. Quick wire. Computers. Damn it. We're not making computers, you guys. What is wrong with me? We're not making computers at all. This isn't going to work. We have any computers left over. We don't have any computers left over. Because why even turn that on if we can't use it? I have made an error. Because we have all the plastic and the rubber that we need here. So, so we don't need that turned on for the plastic and the rubber right we just don't and we can't make use of it for power the one thing that we need it for we can't make use of because we don't have the computers to build the damn fuel generators i forgot i forgot okay so what do we do we have to build let's build let's get a computer going the big problem with that is uh <laughs> All right, we have to change gears. It's gonna be okay. No, we have this. So, so this is the computer recipe we're gonna use. But we need a crap ton of crystal oscillators, and the crystal oscillator recipe that we're gonna use is, I believe, it's not that one, or is it this one? Hold on, let me see. Okay, limiters, insulated crystal oscillator. It's, we have it. Oh, we have it. 
That's the one we need. This is the one we need. Okay. For some reason, I thought we didn't have it. So, time to build. This is going to go together fast. Famous last words. Yeah, so we got to build two manufacturers and then one computer assembler. Okay, let's do it. First manufacturers on the line are going in. This beast of a line here. Now, where do we want to put them? Okay, so this is where our manufacturers go because we won't need to expand any more of these assemblers on the bottom floor here. Now we see if I did a good job. Block our hologram. Can I handle that? I can handle that. It's a little tight. Can this be, can this be handled? That, that'll work, but can we maybe do it here even? That's better. That works perfectly fine. And that gives us more room to maneuver on the back end. So we're going to do with this. No, it's backwards, damn it. <laughs> uh, it never stops. Hmm. Well works wish I had more space can we get more space I think we can get this right a little extra effort now will go a long long way in the future let's try this okay Okay, I can live with that, and I can live with that, um, except it's backwards. Can I live with that? We're going to go with that. Way back in episode one or two, when I set up the assembler row, I was trying to keep manufacturers in mind, and I did an okay job, but I did not do a great job. So let's, let's do this thing. What do we need? Three items. Okay, nice. Uh, a nice little warm up. not even four items. Quartz crystal, rubber, and AI limiters. Rubber. Rubber. Guys, rubber. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You have to set up the rubber and the plastic. And then we've got to feed it rubber. Because we don't have the rubber turned on. I When I put the rubber and the plastic in, I forgot everything has to feed through here. I don't know why I skipped that step. Um... <laughs> so it's got to go it's got to go in here before and then come back down i don't know what i was thinking no i built that one wrong what happens when you rush These systems are so complicated and figuring out which one you should do first and one, two, it is tough. One, two, but now we know we have to turn the rubber on first. And I think we have enough power to turn one of the, one side of those refineries on first. Good. We had two more floor holes left. Come on. One, two. One, two. Oh. Okay. 
it's fixed. So rubber is here. And it's going to have to go into one of these. Coming here. Um, and then... We'll head that way. Go up. And then I think it's already in place. Nope, it's right here. This is the this is the rubber. Uh, all that work. Okay, so that's rubber. Plastic is here. I'm going all the way to the ground. I'm gonna come on this line. This guy's full. This guy's not. Here's our plastic here. He'll go down, he'll go into there. He'll go into there, he'll go here. He's on this level right above the rubber, I think. Okay. Well, it'll be what it will be. I'm out of the thing I need to make Mark IVs. I'm out of those. And then now the plastic and the rubber are set up. Well, that's not true. We have to hook up. We have to hook them up into the um, into the stack. We have, to hook, we have to hook these up. So let's do that. Man, we spent all that time screwing around with this 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 setup over here, and it's all it's all been a waste. Um, I'm just gonna pull this out. These bad boys. What do we do? How do we do this? I'm okay with taking them out. Here, except we have a little bit of an issue with our way down. But let's build this. All right, guys, I hate running stuff more than once. And in the plastic and rubbers case, ran the damn thing three times because we um we crashed. Okay, now we've. We've put it behind our ourselves there. And then we already have this moved in. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and pull these out. Okay. And then he's here. One, two. Okay, now that was pretty painless. Now the only thing that is going to be weird No, I can turn on the rubber. I can turn on the rubber. We can afford to turn on the rubber. I think. With our power. Good thing I set those up on two different switches. So, we can definitely do that. Okay, so that's fed. Now we have our rubber and our plastic, but we, we really only need the rubber. And then the other thing I want to do when we get down there is fix. There's something wrong. That one's not lined up correctly, so we're going to fix that. So let's go ahead and do, because we're going to need rubber, plastic, and crystal oscillators, and computers. We'll do five. Rubber, plastic, crystal oscillators, computers, I um, mean circuit boards, which we also have to make. It's going to be okay. It is going to be okay. How did this get messed up? I don't... Is it just one of them that's messed up? I can't see it from down here. I, I can only see it from up there. So... Yeah, it's this whole... This one's messed up. And that's wrong. Whole damn line is wrong. So... We gotta fix it. That means we gotta redo that stuff. But we got we got to. Alright. So we're good. We have cut out the mistakes. And we are gonna keep pressing on. It's times like these when we get a little frustrated. But it's okay. Um, let's build, let's build 25 of these. 
coal and sulfur. All right. Yep. Coal, sulfur, coal, sulfur. All right. We just got to knock out these other ones. And then that stupid problem is fixed. You know, and I'm sure you guys have run into this problem with your saves. Like, you just... Mistakes, like, starts compounding. And then you lose track and you get frustrated. And you just got to take a breath and figure it out. It's all the more satisfying when you get it, right? Okay, we can do this. <sighs> Big thing I'm worried about is my supply of... Fuel. Because <laughs> package turbo fuel is a little bit further away than I thought. Okay. Okay, so that's the rubber. Okay, next is this spot here. And... Doesn't matter what he is. We'll do um, we'll do them in descending order. So th those aren't built out either. We got to build out um, crystal crystal oscillators. No crystal quartz crystal and air limiters. And those are on eleven and twelve. There's our crystal oscillators. I mean, not crystal oscillators. I keep doing that. Quartz crystal. And there's our AI limiters. Okay, yeah, they're gonna get rocket speed here in a second. Okay. Okay, so those are good. Okay, we're getting the quartz crystal. All right. All right, good. And then he goes there. So we should be getting some AI limiters, yes. Now we're not getting any rubber because it's not turned on. Okay. There are definitely some imperfections with this. We skip the first hole. That one's right in the middle of those two. All the way up. Okay, crystal oscillator. Crystal oscillator. So they're done. In a manner of speaking. Do have a light under here? No, thank God. Remember last time? Where are you, bro? Go over here. Somewhere. I'm lost in my own factory, guys. Help! Send help! Please send help! It's gotta be there. This has been a tough one. I haven't been as organized as I'd like to be. Because I forgot about computers. Like a dummy. Okay, there's crystal oscillators. The good news is, when we get this done, we... Like, we'll have shot ahead because I'm being forced to do things very, very quickly. So this is the crystal oscillator line. Coming back up. One, two. Now, I really don't know how to deal with this problem. Because we're out of space. I mean, I'll just, I'm, I'm going to kick it over to the right. We, we, I went to save these. I was gonna, I went to save all these. And then in the end, I, I didn't even use them. And it's really, really ridiculous. But th this is where they're gonna go. We got this. Paste. Okay. Now we're gonna switch the overflows over to this side. I just, yeah, I don't, I saved all those floor holes down there and then it's okay. That's why we're doing this to freaking learn. And then we're out of, we're out of industrial in case industrial. The irony is our 
our stuff is ready to hook up. I mean, it's ready to turn on. It's all hooked up. I just, I want to have some fuel generators to be able to turn, you know, to be able to use up that stuff. And I'm worried about power. It all comes back to power, right? So let's just finish this last thing that we're doing. That was our crystal oscillators headed back up. And then they're going to come down here. Let's make sure we know which one it is by killing those. So it's the one by itself. Let's get this set up into the overflow and going into the, into the, into its home. And then I'm going to make, I got to remake the, um, packaged fuel setup. So what are we going to do? Cause I'm going to run out of packaged fuel and I'm going to be a sad man. Let's just, let me crank another one in there. No, I don't want to do that. Um, That's not going to work either. Yeah, we got to do something. Shit. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Let's do crystal oscillator. He'll go down. He'll go in there. Let's double check, make sure that we set him up. I mean, I think we did. He runs over to there. He's probably this guy. He's probably that guy. All right. I'm not going to worry about it. So that's done for now. We're going to have to spot check that because that was a shitty rush job. But what we really have to do now is let's roll that let's do this and then let's do this okay and then we need power from that lovely guy now we have fuel now we need a packager i've already i did this last episode and then i deleted it all because i'm dumb and we could have had nice full stacks of uh everything we need keep saying we're only flirting with spaghetti but, uh, I feel like maybe we've been lying to ourselves and maybe we have feelings that, uh, we didn't know we had for spaghetti. Oh, beautiful, beautiful rocket fuel. Okay. That's hooked back up. Okay. Crystal oscillators are done. They're sitting there. They're ready. They're ready for computers. Now. Our wonderful computers. Now, I remember. Okay, our setup. This isn't as bad as I was thinking for a second. Because we're using. Yeah, okay. So, circuit boards, crystal oscillators. So, we still have to make the circuit boards. That's next. We're using the silicon circuit board. We're using this one. Copper sheets and silica. Papa sheets and silica. So that's what's next. We're making silica out the wazoo. But, um. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So back in episode two or three or whatever, when I was making the um, storage. I specifically looked and was like, do we need silica for anything over here on, on this, on this row? Um, copper sheets and silica. I, I think I'm going to cheat from my own copper sheets and silica. Copper sheets are already here, but we'd have to feed silica in. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. We have silica and then we have the circuit boards, right? Because they have to come back through. And then we have the computers because they have to come back through. And then do we need, do we make anything with the high speed connectors? Because I, I think we do. I mean, definitely the aluminum casing, right? For the radio control unit. 
Maybe we'll make that somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know, man. The aluminum is its own kind of thing. We may just make the aluminum under in our subfloor somewhere. Or maybe behind the smelter line or something. I don't know. The aluminum is kind of its own thing. Reassemblers. Alright, I'm, I'm just going to do this, you guys. Uh, what a mess. What a mess. We don't need three assemblers. No, we do not. We need 2.4. 30. So we need 30. Okay. Nice even number. I can remember 30. So what am I doing? I'm trying to see if we can cheat. How badly we can cheat. We can do it. Just one. <laughs> and everything's right here. Oh, God. It's all right here. Desperate times. All right, I'm sorry. This is the little uh, assembler that could. So. Oh, what's the best way to peel these off the line that won't cause too much? I mean, I don't think there, <laughs> there is any way to do it without causing too much. Oh, it's so pretty. What if? We can't. Uh, all right. Okay, sorry. I'm not proud of this, but desperate times and all that. Okay, hey, these are our circuit boards. And honestly, I um, I built myself into a corner. And I don't just mean with this problem that I've caused. I mean with the timing. Right? I These should not have all been done in the same episode. You know, that that's my mistake. I, I made an emergency when, with, with a little bit of planning, we, we wouldn't have... We wouldn't have that emergency. There goes the circuit boards. Okay. Circuit boards are in. Let's get computers. We have crystal oscillators now and circuit boards are in. Where is our computers going to go? Um, they can go on this bottom floor because how many we're making? Crystal computers, three assemblers. So let's just bang them out right here. There's the first one. But I'm sure we've all built ourselves into corners. I am just a guy trying to build a complicated ass factory, but I am a little disappointed with what we had to do. Okay, let's see if we can remember. There's our crystal. There's our. There's that, and the crystal oscillators are right beneath it. So it should be should be easy. Okay, so now we just got to do the output. I wonder. If I just, we really need to put it here because of the light down there. I don't know if you remember, we have a light issue. God, I hate it. Just, just freaking hate it. Yeah, I hate it. worse all right all right all right this is better turn that back into a um what he was and now okay 
That's a lot better. I can I can live with that. So this is the stator line. I'm gonna come all the way out. And then build them where we need them. Yeah. Uh, I definitely got a lot of chaos going on in this episode for sure. So, you know. Hope you enjoy. Really? <laughs> the irony is we're getting so much done. We're just getting it done in a disorganized fashion. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We're getting there. Alright, let's pop out power really quickly. Stam order of operations and power. Because basically we finished the project. We finished the refinery project. We just didn't we just couldn't turn it on. Or at least not all of it. Okay, so now we have computers. We're we're so close, guys. We're so close. So this is computers are gonna set up here. One, two, pretty sure. And they're gonna they're coming out of there. You see spaghetti? I mean a little bit. And that got funky because I didn't want to cover over our beautiful light. We really just I really just needed to you know, I mean, <laughs> all right, there's, there's some spaghetti. There is some, there's just, there's some, uh, let's put that in then right in, it's right in our light. Damn it. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to do, we're just going to have to go through and clean up is what we're going to have to do because we've made an emergency. One, two. There we go. Okay, so that's our overflows for computers, finally. What were we doing? Setting up the overflow for the computers, which I stuck here. Man, that's... I don't know. That, I don't like any of this. I'm going so fast. I'm doing things that I don't like. Um, there's a better way to do this. What's Bits' rule? If you don't like something, delete it. Rushed trading. There we go. All right. So the computer is now under there, but he doesn't have an overflow. Ugh, so ugly. My my plan was just, it was working so well for so long and then things just kind of went to shit because we ran out of space. But we will, we will, we will carry on. What are we going to do with you, computers? I guess use one of these lines we set up originally for the plastic and the rubber. So... Uh, probably this one, actually. Let's just use this one. Uh, let's make sure it's computers. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's start turning some stuff on. I think that we're ready to turn on the rubber because I think that's the one that we can afford. And let's flip on rubber. Rubber's on this side. And let's see how she goes. Okay. Well, now that these are set. So, 
<laughs> so we're already starting off great, guys. This is uh, working good. Man, these refineries have just been kicking my ass. Okay. All right, that's done. Oh, I just saw something go up. Is that a resin? Okay, that's good. Really good. Resin is moving. Now do we have... This needs to fill up with heavy oil residue. Is our pump on? Pump is connected. We're starting to fill. Okay, we have a blockage there, so let's go check that out. Those should be being turned into rubber. Uh, um, water. Guys, we never did the freaking water. We never did the water. Wow. I knew there was something. Actually, I didn't know. I totally forgot. It's a lie to say I knew there was something. And there goes the fuse. So that's why... Okay. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're on a switch. We weren't ready for that. Switch this off. Okay, we have rubber. It's right here. We have a lot. We have enough to make... Um, to get our... Let's get this going again. Uh, let's uh, flip our power back on. Gotta have those fuel generators. Gotta have them. So, I built too big too fast. Why is that happening? Because this is off. Oh, because <sighs> because you have to have time to get your coal working again. Here's the coal. Just going from the frying pan into the fire. We will sort this. Okay, let's 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 let those get running. Man, I knew we weren't ready. And I knew we needed batteries too. We never we never built those batteries I'd planned on building. Alright. Made a mess, but we can clean this up. Just gonna pop it is. Why are you popping? Because I thought I turned off everything that was that we had turned on. So we were working before. What else don't we need? We'd actually Okay, we're I'm just gonna turn these off. I'm not gonna delete them. And I'll turn off this plastic one. We need the rubber one. All right, let's try this. We're really, really close on our stupid power. Oh, I'm sure you guys have been here. This is frustrating as all hell. I have any staters on me? I do. Build some temporary batteries. Yeah, we were riding it so close for so long, I think.
Yeah, it's not good enough. Uh, so I mean, all of these really should be on. So we're just we're just still somehow we're over overeating. Still. And I'm not sure. Because everything was fine until I switched on that switch. And now it's off. But it's not fine. So I'm not 100% sure what's happening. Yeah, power switch is off. Our switch is off. Are we working? Power's on. Is it just eating the battery? That was weird. Something something weird was happening there. I think we're fine now that's very strange i'm not 100 percent sure what's happening but maybe these little guys will provide a buffer maybe some stuff is flipping on and flipping off in a weird way okay we need to get computers make going we've got to get them making so that i can get some fuel generators up because just a few few just a few fuel generators and this problem goes away we just need a couple so i stuck the rubber right there so let's go down and let's feed it into the line that uh we that we we're going to be feeding into for rubber so right right here Okay. Okay, that should have rubber on it. It does. Unfortunately, we're probably going to pop a damn breaker because we're going to switch on all the machines that make computers because now we're running rubber. We should see rubber come. There it goes. There goes the rubber. And then we're going to start making crystal oscillators with our manufacturers that are fat boys and we're going to kick the oscillators how are we doing okay i think we're okay yeah we're charging and these are these are kicking on all right and then we should have crystal oscillators coming out of here all right and these bad boys they'll fill around and they'll finally and we'll finally make some computers Yep, there goes the crystal oscillators. So what we're gonna do is we need, don't need that many computers or, what do you need five? Do you just need five? You just need five. So let's make some, and I probably should have done this before, but let's just make some and then we can start building a few up, up top. Let's make 10 so we can go build two fuel generators and ease our power situation just a hair. All right, let's get some fuel generators going. Okay, so we're going to use it out of the out of the fuel side and then and these will just be it'll just be temporary. Okay, fuel generators. Finally. Okay, those are on. Let's fill these up. 
We're going to need some battery power. Because these fuel generators are going to turn on. There we go. We need a jump start is what we need. But if I flip that switch, then the whole party starts again. So what I really need to do, let's, we got some batteries now. Wonder if it's enough. We need to buy enough time for us to get some fuel produced. All right. Consumption, max consumption, 632 on this side. Okay, and then the difference between our consumption and our production is like, that's 20, our production is 2,400 and our consumption is like 18. So, I mean, that's 600, right? 632, it's right there. It's very close. So we have those batteries in. I think really we just needed the batteries. So... All right, let's flip this on and let's see how long until our batteries run out. Okay, so far so good. Because we killed that manufacturer, that really helped. And now that we have batteries, we can we can peek above the line for for a minute, right? That's not good. Why are they why are they not getting power? Did I not hook the line in? Nope, it's right there. And it's gonna I wasn't taking that into account. But now we're draining. Okay. It's not gonna be enough time. I don't know. Oh, it's a race. Uh well <laughs> oh, my batteries. I mean if they're on. They're on. They're making fuel. Come on. You gotta fill up. There's the fuel. It's a race. 11 minutes. I think we're gonna be okay. Come on, fill up the pipe. Insert fuel. I'm trying, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. It's almost full. There it is. There it goes. Come on, come on, we need to see some smoke. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Look at it. We're charging. Okay, are we producing above consumption? Oh my God, barely. Two is like not enough. Much less to turn on the plastic side. Oh gosh. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, wow. We're like riding a knife's edge. <laughs> I mean, you know. Can't be any other way, right? There's our computers. What were we gonna do? We didn't. What did I do? Oh, I put him in the. Put him in the damn circuit board slot. That's what I did. Okay. And then we never set this. There we go. There goes our computers. Okay. Now, let's hope to God that I set them up correctly and they go to the storage and not to the, si the sink. 
if I see these computers like enter the sink, I'm gonna yeah. It'll be I think they would have by now. There they go. Okay, there they go. There's our computers. All right. Oh my goodness. It's been a crazy, crazy ride. I think I'm gonna show up here. I bet you, I don't know. I wonder if that's the circuit boards. There they are. There they are, computers. Okay. We already have 15. Uh, let's wait to get 20 and then we'll build four more generators. Okay, we just need a little bit more rubber and some heavy modular frames. Here's the rubber and the heavy modular frames. We have not automated those. We've just temporarily made some. Okay. Let's get these. Let's get a few more generators built and ease our pro power problems a little bit more. Yeah, that's right. Turn on. <laughs> okay. Hey, why please turn on my plastic now? Please. Well, our production is very high. Right? Oh, there it goes. It took a second. All right, 1200. And then how is our... Okay, we got plenty of power. Plenty of power. Uh, plastic should be finally working. Let's hook up our rubber or disconnect that rubber setup that we had. Temporary rubber setup. We can actually delete, I think, all of that rubber and plastic setup that we had. Okay, so I don't like that there's no rubber being made. So what's going on with that? Let's figure that out. Why is there no rubber being made? So we don't, if we're not careful, we're going to have a, oh, because of the water. Ugh. Which means we got to awesome sink this uh, resin or we are screwed. We don't if we don't awesome sink that resin it's um it's bad news bears because the resin will back up and then yeah it's already happened it's all it's already happening so hopefully there we go okay good so until we get water hooked up, which is going to be next episode, we are going to have to sink the resin. And then we really actually need to sink the other resin as well. But we're not really using the turbo fuel. So actually, there's really no reason to turn this on. Because we can't, we're not making the plastic because we don't have the water. So we, we tested it, it works. We're going to turn that back off. First thing we, no, no, we're going to do it right now. We're going to do a few things. We're going to, let's go down, let's, let's grab some stators and make some real batteries. Like I meant to do forever ago and I was silly and I did not do them. So we're just going to do it. 
We need a lot. We need a lot more copper. And we're going to build a little hidden battery bank underneath. Uh, do they clip into our... Yeah, they do. They need to be down here. So that no matter what, we can jumpstart. Oh my gosh, they... They're really tall. I wasn't expecting them to be so tall. Um, I mean, that that kind of looks cool, actually. All right. Um, I'll go with it. That kind of looks cool. Okay, now let's just bring them up. That's going to give us... A lot more leeway if I make any mistakes in the future. Why am I saying if? When I make mistakes in the future. <laughs> All right. You know, we're just going to have to be methodical and work through the problem. And, and we'll set up the water as well. Next, next stream. So we have the structure in place, but we, we rushed it. So we got to fix it up and that's what we'll be working on. So that's going to do it for tonight. I appreciate y'all hanging with me and uh, sorry if it was a little chaotic. I, but things just got crazy. They got crazy fast. So, and I lost control, but we will learn from this and we'll be a better satisfactory player and a better streamer because of it. So. That's it for tonight, and I will see you guys on Discord or in on next stream. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. That was crazy and exhausting. Really not my favorite way to play this game, so I'm going to work on making sure that doesn't happen again. Next episode, I plan to fix everything we left half-assed in this episode. Thank you again for subscribing. It means more than you know. If I cut out anything you wanted to see, the link to the full VOD for this episode is in the description. And if you want to watch me forget to set up water to refineries six times in a row in real time, look for my live streams right here on YouTube. That's it for now. Until next time.